Welcome to Mandul and uh, this is where uh, Chris and I are building our first house together. So I'm Shane, Chris. Uh, and, come with uh, us and we'll show you around. Yeah. So we'll take you towards uh, the building envelope now so you can have a, a better look at that. Um, as you can see, going this way it's quite slopey uh, and that's one of the main challenges um, that this block presents. Um, but I guess it was one of those features that really sold us and that it is unique and quite different than all the other blocks. Um, but that was one of the challenges we had with designing the house is uh, a lot of sort of your standard palms and builders, they just wanted to come in and cut a big chunk of the land out. Uh, and then we'd have massive retaining walls, which is something we didn't want. We didn't want to impact the landscape. Um, like we said before, there's lots of wildlife along. We don't want something that imposes on the environment. We wanted something that blends in. So we'll be shaded from our neighbors. Um, we shouldn't be able to see them up here. And then our neighbors across, they'll be on the opposite side of the valley with all the trees. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get a lot of the, the views from our house of the, the, lo the landscape. Um, not like we would in a city where we'd be staring at other people's houses. And I guess that was sort of one of the main draws of us coming out here was having our own space. Uh, wilderness areas, big property and not being inundated by other people's houses. Uh, as you can see back here, um, we've got forests, a eucalypt forest, and there's forests really all around us. And this is the main feature of the block that was really the selling feature for us. Um, and the house design is gonna be, all of our living spaces will face this way. Um, so our living dining, kitchen, a big patio at the back. This is the feature that we wanted to bring sort of inside the house. Um, and hence why the whole back of the house is, is glass. Uh, the other advantageous thing is that um, it's perfectly aligned with uh, the sun rising and the sun falling. So we're capitalizing on the sun um, during uh, the winter um, at the low peaks and the roof line will cut off the, the, the high peaks in summer. And who wouldn't want that view every day? The front projection of the house, um, we wanted as much glass as possible. Um, we've had to reduce that because of the amount of expense uh, that would be incurred. But um, we're, we're still trying to uh, maintain large opening areas so that the air can freely, uh, freely um, go through the house. And um, so basically what we've got, uh, the, the issue is where we've got all that glass, we need uh, privacy, uh, even though we are quite set back from the road and there's not many people. Um, but I wanted to use this as an opportunity to give the house more character. So I've been looking at um, quite a lot of materials and I've found that um, Core 10 is probably um, an excellent option because it develops a patina but um, this, which gives it an awesome colour um, and absolutely amazing texture. But um, it doesn't require as much maintenance as uh, wood, which was originally proposed. So I'm hoping that this will be a, a more long-term solution that gives the house quite um, an amazing visual um, impact um, because with its elevated projection and its quite linear form um, and the, the absolutely amazing um, color will uh, contrast uh, with the changing seasons. So if you look at the gum trees, they change as the seasons change with the coloration. And so the idea with the Corten is as it weathers, you'll get different coloration patterns as well, which will blend in nicely with the surrounding forest. Yeah, uh, I think um, as well to that, like I wanted that raw element, that raw feel to it. I didn't want it to be a pristine finish. Mm. And that's one thing that I've kind of been struggling with the build is that um, because we're building something so modern, um, it feels like we're going to lose quite a lot of character and there's um, quite a lot of landscaping which uh, we're not quite used to so um, I think it's going to take us uh, quite a while to um, establish. We can just get um, a goat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get a goat. So um, one of the things that we're attempting to do is um, plant a lot of native species uh, because there's been sightings of koalas, um, there's also quite a lot of wallabies, wildlife around here that uh, we uh, want to bring back to the area. Um, since it's been cleared. We brought a shovel today. Um, 
because as our building goes up, we're gonna be losing a lot of saplings that have been growing here. So what we're gonna do today is move some of them as well. So hopefully if we're successful in a few months, you might be able to come back and meet a bunch of our friends and family when we do our planting blitz. So thank you for the opportunity and uh, we look forward to uh, hearing back from you guys. So yeah. Okay, so what's it called again? Corten. Corten. Yeah. I guess that nice rusty patina. And it's a metal that just Oh, it's weathers. actually metal. Yeah. That weathers oh, it looks like wood. So it's specially designed so it doesn't uh, deteriorate as fast as um, normal steel. Oh, really? Yeah. So no, what you can do is when it rusts or it gets the colour, you can then seal it so yeah. then it doesn't change. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you find something, the shade that so you want. So what do you want, think about Shane designing and building a house? Oh, yeah, I think it's really good. Could be able to do that. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think he's a bit picky? No, he's perfect. <laughs> he's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where's this going? I don't know. Uh, no, yeah. I think Shane's perfect for imagination and something a little bit different and it'll be done very well. Well, that's let's, true. He'll be let's on hope the... for that. Let's bring up the topic of um, you living in Australia. Why? We'll because probably receive never, a shipping container with yeah, all probably. Chris's... I never um, expe yeah, expected to come, to not to go back. Mm, that's I never I'm... ever expected that. Yeah, I came here for a year and it's yeah. nine years later. Yeah, well, I came for a year and ended up with a baby. I don't know if you want that on video. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Hello? We're telling them that you'll come here for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so they'll pay for that? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Denise will. She has to make a lot of purses. <laughs> yeah, lots and lots of bags. Yeah. You know how much it would cost to move all of these over there for Christmas? Well, I didn't say everyone. I just said you guys. <laughs> yeah, just, oh. a, just a select few. <laughs> it can be your retirement party. Well, we could come in October and stay for Christmas. That's true. You can come early and beat the... Help us build. Beat the rush. Yeah, yeah, help us landscape that. All right, we'll miss yeah. you, love you. Yeah, I love you too, you. take care. All right, take see you guys. Bordeaux. Yeah, I'll, okay, I'll okay. give you a ring when I'm back from Borneo. Okay. 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 See ya. See ya.